everyone. Hopefully you can see me. I am attached to a cord. <laughs> I can't really go any further than this. Anyway, I just took a bath. So I'm looking rough and it looks like I'm bald because I'm in the dark. Let me just unplug it. It won't die. I've got enough that it can die. Yeah, we can see each other. I am just getting things ready for bed, getting all his stuff out. Library books, because I need to pick some up, they're dirty. Made his bed, put out some pajamas, and I put some purple hair dye in his hair, and he is showing. What? Did you say something? Body soap? Yeah. It's the one in the middle. You just use a pea size drop. The soap? It's the one in the middle. Just use a tiny little drop. The one in the middle is mine. The one in the middle. The other two are shampoo. The gray blue bottle is soap. No, that's shampoo. Yes. He keeps using my shampoo as body wash, but at least he asked finally. It was just like blasting through my shampoo, and I'm like, why is my shampoo disappearing? Why are there soap suds everywhere? He's like, I don't know, I didn't use anything. So finally, I'm like, I know we did it yet. And it's okay, but now you have to ask because it's not body soap. <laughs> Hopefully, he's only using drugs. I just replaced my shower gel. Anyway, hi. Hello. It is late. It's already 8 18 when I'd rather him be in bed, but it is what it is. It is Sunday, and today I stayed in bed till 9, even though I was awake at like 7 45. And that was lovely. Took a shower, got dressed, and we all went out to brunch as a family, which never happens because Jax doesn't usually want to go. But we went to one of his favorite places, Silver Dome. Ooh, and I got a hiccup. Try not to have another one. Silver Diner, which he loves. So we did that. I came home. It was about 12:20 when we got home, and. We did parlor beads. Jax actually went upstairs to play his game. He did come down later and do work on parlor beads. That is our December thing. We just love doing it. One year when Sebastian was really little, I didn't want to put out our breakable ornaments. So we started parlor beading and made a whole bunch of parlor bead ornaments. We also filled some balls, plastic balls with pom-poms but now I don't even put those out because we have so many perler bead ornaments. We've just continued to put those out every year. And over the pandemic, we just did so much. They all look forward to it. At this point, we do a mix of little ornaments and huge pieces that you have to display on the wall. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make some art pieces for Sebastian by hot gluing the perler beads to canvases and frames that I buy at the thrift store. I'll find the ugliest damaged ones and paint over them. And obviously no real paintings, just like prints. So that might be fun to do, maybe over winter break. But yeah, we came home, did parlor beads. And then I took a little break because I was hurting from hunching over and had a little snack. And then about 3.20, I went up and started braiding. I had 12 to go. At five o'clock, I was halfway done. And I was like, oh man, usually I stop and start making dinner. But I messaged Danny, who was playing Halo, and told him I have some fresh pasta in the fridge. So that's like super fast to cook. <clears throat> I still have 12 braids to go. They're about five minutes each to take out the old one, comb out all the hair that's shed, and put in the new one. And he's like, I will take care of it in a little while. He doesn't like to eat early. <laughs> but 
I think we ate around six, maybe a little bit before six, and I was down to one braid when dinner was ready. So after dinner, I went back upstairs and did that last braid. Finished, array, cleaned up, had time for a bath, and yeah, then I did all the things I said. So nothing much to show you, but it is what it is. Tomorrow, we have to get the kids to school. And then, I would normally drop off all the libraries I'll send me back, but the library's not open yet, and I do have to go in <clears throat> and get the books that we have on hold. So I'm probably just gonna skip that and do that after the lunch shift. So we'll drop Jack's off, come back home, eat something, and pretty much go back out. Dan was like, how do you only have an hour? I get home from dropping Jack's off around 8.50 and I try to be walking into the cafeteria at 9.50. Lunch starts at 10 a.m. <laughs> and I want at least five minutes of being in the school to get my badge, though they are very fast because they're used to me. I'm there every single week. The wonderful security guard is amazing. I can even check myself in at this point if she's stepped away. But yeah, so I need to be there at like 9.45, 9.50. So yeah, that's why. I don't think you realize it starts at 10. Kindergartners roll in at 10 to 10.05. So that's what we'll do. We'll be there until one-ish. And I will drive so that I have my car and I will head probably straight to the library, deal with the books, and then go on to the shopping center that has probably Dunkin Donuts that's usually what I end up wanting because I'm running on like some toast from before the lunch shift so I'll probably eat Dunkin Donuts and then do the grocery shopping I have enough food that I can make everybody's lunches tomorrow but we need more we have five day week our second five day week in a row it doesn't happen often in the fall there's so many days off so many holidays but we we'll have three full weeks in a row so that is the plan. Oh, but it keeps going, it keeps going. And then we need to put all the groceries away and go pick up Sebastian from his club at 3.15 and then bring him home. And then at 3.40, we gotta go get Jax from school. This is probably still gonna be like, can you pick me up from school again? Maybe he won't, maybe he will, I don't know, we'll see on my calendar so that's everything i'm gonna go shampoo his hair with purple shampoo and i will see you tomorrow thank you for watching even when i'm boring good night good night stay safe be kind and don't forget wash your hands